Oh hi! Well this is probably my first video in a while. I actually did this as a stream just now but I'm not going to upload the stream to YouTube because my lovely MIDI controller which I think is marvellous and wonderful kept crashing everything and it was actually a bit of a disaster. So lucky you, I'm going to record it twice and this time you get a straight to YouTube version. So my plan is to today is to show you how to use Visual Studio Code on Samsung DeX. I'm going to take the phone and put it into the dock and it should start DeX automatically. I put this on to file sharing. There we go, it started DEX automatically. Start casting. There we go. I actually have the same wallpaper on my desktop and on DEX. So this is Samsung DeX running through the DeX app on Windows, which is like a really nice way to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is, um, is I'm going to totally and utterly wipe Termux, just so you know that I haven't got anything up my sleeve or anything like that. Termux is the terminal I'll be using for, um, for doing everything with. Oh, and I'll remove this too. Uh, Termux, Termux, Termux. T, 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 T. Termux. There we go. Termux. So, as you can tell, I've used that 1.47 gigabytes, which is about the, the size will be when you're finished. So you're probably going to have at least two gigabytes free on your device before you even try doing this. And this can't be done on your memory card either. It has to be done on the device itself. So I'm going to clear all the data and totally clear everything. So now when I start this up, we have a totally fresh start. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is install um, Ubuntu onto Termux. So Ubuntu on Termux runs on um, runs out of like a user out of a user space partition, um, and it uses PR root instead of CH root. Um, sorry, P root rather than CH root. Um, and it's actually really quick to set up. So if you have um, Termux on your phone and want to try out running a full terminal based Ubuntu, you can do it by following these instructions. I'll post the link in the um, in the description below. So first I'm going to install, um, ah. first I'm going to install um, pwroot and wget. Shall I make this big? There you go, hopefully you can see it a bit easier now. So yes, we want to install these. And then we're going to make the directory we're going to want to install it in. Uh, I'm just going to do it like I'm not using my home directory for anything else. So I'm just going to install it here. So first we have to get the um, the installer script, which sets everything up. And then I'm going to run it. So sh ubuntu.sh. So this downloads the image and installs it. Um, and then I'm going to get rid of the backed up version. So that's now all set up and ready to go. So if we go start ubuntu.sh, 
it's done. We're in a Ubuntu instance. I think if I do uname dash R, it's sorry, uname. Uname dash A. Well, it doesn't say we're in Ubuntu, but we are. We're, in, we're running Ubuntu. Um, we have like apt get and everything. Like if I do apt get install like wget node.js npm git. Ah, oh, I can't write any of the packages because I need to update apt. So apt get update. I'll take a while to install. So that's done. So yeah, let's download Visual Studio Code the Linux ARM version. Copy link. Let's install it. So, XVF. Now I'm not some Linux god who just remembers the correct options for untarring something. Just that I did it 10 minutes ago on a different thing and remembered the command. I literally did just have to Google what are the commands to untar something in Linux a bit earlier. Right, so there, that's that. Um, so we're going to move um, the the binary into our bin folder so we can run it. Um, and it's gonna clean that up. And now we can run the code server. So this gives us like a local um, version of the server. So if I open up Samsung Internet and paste, whoop, whoop, that's the code. Um, we want to go to localhost, localhost 8080. You can change the port to whatever you want to. I just left everything as the default for now. Um, which gives us a local version of Visual Studio Code, which is super cool, but we're not done yet. It gets better. So we've got added page to home screen. And then we can install it up here. Code server. There we go. Now we have code server running as a um, progressive web app. And it just looks and behaves like normal code, um, Visual Studio Code does. So um, if I can do git install, let's install like a project I was working on earlier. So yeah, I can copy the <laughs> So yeah, I can clone stuff through git. So I can do like git clone this. Clone this. And then I can go CD Strive MPX installed. I do. 
So I can do npx HTTP server. So I can start a little web server going here. And I can open the workspace in VS Code. So we have our source code here. This is setting up HTTP server, so it will run locally. Cool. So localhost 8081. So I go to localhost 8081. There we go. So here's just a project I was working on the other day, which is running entirely from my local machine via local host. I can make changes in this. So I could change the color of the water, say. Um, Oh yeah, I can make changes however I want really, which is kind of neat. Um, you can, what other stuff to show you? Um, put that back to how it was, because I'll carry on working on this later. Um, so you can install like a whole bunch of um, extensions. So I'm going to install Fairy Floss because I like it. So Fairy Floss. Oh no, whoops. Theme. Set color theme. Fairy Floss. I have access to it, the terminal. Like I can do stuff like I can install um, ZSH. And do all that, that kind of stuff. If I just kill this server. Like one of the nice things with um, with Termux is that you can use um, like all of the stuff in the terminal that uses the mouse. So if I go um, like Midnight Commander, um, for example, whoops, as I'm setting up ZSH in another thing. I'm install Midnight Commander. So yeah. So I'm going to change these colors. It doesn't work great on Midnight Commander. Let's go for... I like that one. So yeah, uh, like stuff that uses the mouse in the terminal just works fine as you'd expect, which is really nice. Like it's just a really nice feature. Um, I'm going to install oh my ZSH because to make my shell look pretty. There we go, I've now got like a pretty terminal. Everyone loves ZSH. Um, still term, 
like it works well with Tmux. You can install WeChat. Um, but yeah, you get the idea. Like you have everything you need. Like you have full Linux terminal, Visual Studio Code with all the extensions you want, and the ability to run a web server to serve like your own local files. So you can do full offline local editing from your mobile phone and all you need is like a monitor and a keyboard and mouse to plug it into. Like this is super cool. Like it's, I think it's really fun. Um, so yeah, I hope, I hope that got you interested in, in trying this out and giving Dex a go. I think Dex is really cool. Samsung internet works really well on it. Like it works just like a normal desktop web browser. And then when you're all done, you can unplug your phone and walk away and it will still keep everything running nicely. So right now, even though we're in the middle of installing stuff, I could just unplug the phone and end the stream um, and it'll unplug it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to cover today. Uh, thank you so much for dropping by. If you have any questions, um, leave a message in the comment. I'll do my best to answer it. And um, I'll put a link to code server and the instructions for installing Ubuntu on Termux into the description. All right. Bye.